Number 18. Tingle has a length that is 15 times its width. I always start drawing. The instant they tell me I have a shape of some sort, I'm always going to start drawing. It has a length that is 15 times its width. So, okay, so this is my width and this is going to be my length. The function y equals 15w times w represents this situation. I'm going to pause there for a second. Okay, so they're saying w and 15 times w. So clearly we're using w to represent the width. And since the length is 15 times longer, calling it 15w. All right, so y equals 15w times w. Boom. Right, so length times width. And y is going to be the area in square feet. Makes sense, right? Length times width is how we find the area of a rectangle. And there's my width. And come on, and there's my length. All right. So y is greater than zero. Yep, area is greater than zero. Which of the following is the best interpretation of 15w in this context? Well, if I'm looking at it before I even look at the answers, I go, all right, well, 15w is how long the length of this rectangle is. 15w is my length. So look at our options. A, the length of the rectangle in feet. This is the third time that we've had these, which of these is best, and it's been A. I think it's the third. It's been a lot. So the length of the rectangle in feet, right off the bat, I'm like, that looks right. I think that's right. Always a good idea to read through all four of them, though. B, the area of the rectangle in square feet. Nope, we already know Y is the area in square feet. The difference between the length and the width of the rectangle in feet. Nope. The difference would be 15W minus w or 14w nope and d the width of the rectangle in feet no we're told the width is just w so yes confirmed a is our answer if this was helpful or useful in any way please like share subscribe you know the drill thank you so much for stopping by hope you have a great day see you later bye